Velikovsky contends that global catastrophes have occurred throughout the geological history of the Earth and that these catastrophes have been caused by agents external to the Earth. The most recent catastrophes were caused by Venus and Mars. These agents can be identified through the ancient scientific and literary writings. In 1950, when Velikovsky published Worlds in Collision, it was assumed and widely believed that all of the planets were formed on the order of several billion years ago, all formed at one time. It was also assumed and widely believed that no global catastrophes had occurred on the Earth since its formation. Several review articles appeared in magazines before the book was actually on sale to the public. And from these review articles, it was quite obvious that Velikovsky did not make these assumptions. Hence, he was considered to be incorrect. The assumptions by 1950 had become scientific dogmas. And the astronomers and geologists of the time considered that no amount of proof could disprove these assumptions. Well, what's happened since 1950? Do the people who objected then still object? The people that had vested interest in particular theories at that time are still quite violently opposed to Velikovsky. It turns out that nearly every major unexpected find in the space age was expected by Velikovsky and people who had read his works. And what is the main objection to Velikovsky? Astronomers usually find out that Velikovsky contends that Venus erupted from the planet Jupiter and assume that that is totally impossible and hence write off the entire theory. Then if somebody comes up and asks them what about Velikovsky's work, they say, no, it's totally wrong. And this is one of the main reasons that they give. What are a couple examples of some of the predictions that have come true? A prediction that actually Velikovsky prefers the word advanced claim was about the temperature of Venus. It was not considered that Venus was as hot as Velikovsky claimed. But by 1962, when the probes went by Venus, it turns out that Venus was extremely hot and much hotter than anyone except Velikovsky had anticipated. What will happen if Velikovsky is given credit for some of these predictions that have been proved? What effect might all this have? If people start investigating his works open-mindedly, and hence they will start realizing that there is considerable logic behind what he says, this eventually will require new textbooks in astronomy, history, geology, archaeology, and all related fields.